Delighted to see you again. I am with Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group of Food and Wine Sommelier of the Year. The group includes Let's Give Some Love to the Virginias. In Old Town, you have Columbia Firehouse and Vermilion. In the Delray neighborhood, you have Evening Star Cafe and the uh, Planet Wine, the Bottle Shop. Down in Merrifield, you have a Red Apron and, and uh, uh, B-Side. That's right. Greg, it is great to see you. You too. Wow, what's on tap this week? This week, we have a wonderful beer from a, a, a really an amazing brewer out in Tulsa, Oklahoma. His name is Chase Healy. And he has a small, tiny brewery today called American Solera. This beer is called Cran Barrel. I see that, yeah. And it is, uh, yeah, it's a yeah, cheat sheet. And it's, um, as you'd expect, a barrel aged um, and blended mixed fermentation beer that's finished with a huge, massive amount of cranberries. I'll bet it'd be good with vodka. <laughs> okay, well. I'll try and wow. get back to you. It smells incredible. Wow. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's a, it's a it's an eye squeezer that one. I like that acidic. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I've noticed something with you. Fruit acidity puckers you more oh, than really. Yeah, because like last week we did um, a beer from Birds Fly South, Paper Airplanes, which has pretty high levels of acidity to it, but no fruit, and it seemed to be much cleaner for you. This is really cool because it's got lactic acidity from the mixed fermentation with lactobacillus and pediococcus, and then it's got a lot of like malic and tartaric acidity that's richer from the cranberries. Um, that's, it's fruit-like. I mean, you know, if you bite into like sour yes. fruit, it's like puckers you up, you know? I don't even eat raw oysters. My wife loves them, and I think you like them. I, I love but them. I want a raw oyster right oh, yes. now. We'll Something talk about extremely that we'll salty would be incredible later, with this. It really would. I mean, it'd be amazing. So, Chase, Yes. Uh, so first off, Oklahoma has come a very long way as far as beer goes. I mean, this was one of those states that used to be racked with the ridiculous um, uh, old uh, beer laws, you know, no no purchasing beer on Sundays. Uh, you could only sell beer under 4% at supermarkets. Like, really strange things. And until recently, actually, even brewers weren't allowed to sell beer um, at, the, at their tap rooms that was over, under over 4% or something like that. I mean, literally, that got, that got changed. But it's come a long way. And the guy who really stands as the one who pushed it furthest is Chase Healy. Um, he started out at a great brewery in Oklahoma called uh, Coop. Um, Ale Works, I believe, and then he moved on to um, another brewery, ended up in Dallas, and then he started brewing under contract at Krebs Brewing Company, uh, his, his label, which was Prairie. We've done Prairie yes. before here. Yeah, that's, what I was that's Chase's, uh, was Chase's brewery, did that for a long time and grew that business, and then kind of decided, you know, he wanted to kind of do something a little bit smaller as like a side project that became all encompassing. He actually sold Prairie to the Krebs, the place where the beers were being made, and they continue to make amazing beers, and the Prairie line continues to be outstanding. And now Chase is free to, to focus solely on American Solera, which is primarily these barrel-aged, punch-and-aged, fooder-aged beers um, of mixed fermentation. Wow. Really cool stuff. Very good, very unique. I mean, you may not like it, but you should try it. I mean, I, Absolutely. It, it, I, I hope that's not unfair to say, but you know what I mean. I mean, some people... Oh, no, I mean, some people don't like dry, yeah. sour beer, yeah. And this is, I mean, incredible. I like it. You talk about, people have tried to make beers with cranberries for a long time, and to me, this is unparalleled. It's just uh, an, an incredible, incredible beer. So what might you pair this with? Well, I think you said it first. Well, right, really, yeah, the yeah, amount of acid is good. great for salt content. So um, briny fish, oily fish can handle it, too. Um, raw, some raw fish could stand up raw, like meaty fish, fatty tuna, raw salmon. Um, but then also, I'm thinking like rich, hearty meals. I mean, save some bottles for Thanksgiving. This would be awesome with like roast turkey and stuffing. Um, it'd be great with some leafy greens like Brussels sprouts. I could even see doing it with like some Carolina barbecue, you know, like that has the vinegar sauce. So like pork barbecue that's kind of acidic or with like Texas brisket that's rich fatty and a little bit sweet. Yum. Yeah. All right, Craig, thank you as always. Thank you. Nicely done, Chase. Uh, 
Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.